Hi, and welcome to the second edition of KCAST, the monthly podcast update from Chaos Media. I'm Colin O'Rourke. Coming up later in the show, we look into the future of Team Chaos. First up, Volunteers Week is an annual celebration of the work and effort of volunteers across the UK. This year's events took place at the start of June, and I went along to find out how Volunteers Week was celebrated here in York. The spots of rain didn't dampen the spirits of those celebrating the end of Volunteers Week in York. A barbecue took place to mark the 25th anniversary of Volunteers Week, following the transformation of a derelict outdoor space at 41 Monkgate into a colourful patio garden. Michelle Finn of 41 Monkgate described how the garden challenge had transformed the space. The weeds were taller than me, the whole thing was overgrown and it was a complete mess. It's been absolutely fantastic, really positive and it's just so nice to see it all completely planted now. The amount of work people have put in has been amazing for everything that I've seen go on. It's just been ridiculous how much people have done, from moving tons of rubble to making the quilts to kind of like just moving everything. It's been so fantastic. Thank you so much. The other challenge saw the creation of a quilt illustrating the collective work of volunteers. Speaking about the process behind putting the quilt together was Lisa Buckley of York CVS. We had volunteers for two days while the garden project was going on and putting the quilt together to reflect about volunteering, just the whole fact that people have got together and been making it. And I think in sort of six hours or sort of seven hours, it's not bad really, we've got a a fully sort of hangable quilt with about 11 pieces on. The two challenges were organised by York CVS, the Peace Home Centre, 41 Monkgate and the Quilt Museum and Gallery. In total, 55 people took part in both events. We spoke to one of those volunteers involved in the Garden Challenge, Craig Story. Personally, yeah, it was a good experience. Um, obviously something new, um, good challenge and yeah, rose to it quite very well. Have you ever done anything, any volunteer work before? I have indeed, yes. I mean, where I live at the Pease Home, we do um, a weekly vo- um, volunteering there at different churches, doing gardens there. And yes, it was like, it came as like pretty much second nature to me. And are you going to keep up with the volunteering? Oh, of course. I mean, if we could get more projects like this, I'd be happy. But yeah, of course we'll be. Why do you think they went for a kind of ground force style challenge? Why do you think they did that? I think, that, I don't think it, it, it was more of a, a ground force. I think it was just generally that it had to be done because of obviously the state of the garden. It was just different ideas were brought up I mean it was an idea that was completely different to what we've done um, that came in to start off with but we just wanted to generally make it look nice and have this celebration today to uh, celebrate what we've done. So do you hope to get involved in any activities to celebrate future? Of course yes yeah I would I'd love to get involved Um, I mean anything like this or any sort of volunteering work I'll be more than happy to get stuck in and um, get on with it. And what's the mood been like among all the volunteers? Have they been really up for this challenge? Oh yeah, I mean, um, a lot of people have been very cheerful, very talkative towards others. There's been no negativity towards anybody. And yeah, as a team, we all came together and um, did it all in the end. Right, I'm here now in Chaos HQ where we're getting ready for our live web TV broadcast which is going to be happening at the end of this month. I'm now joined by my colleague Dom Smith who is going to be taking a central role in the web broadcast and also in our trip to Romania in the middle of July. Dom, can you tell us a little bit more about the two events, both the Romania trip and the live web TV broadcast? Well, the Romania trip is going to be excellent from, from my perspective. It's just going to be an excellent opportunity to meet and work with a lot of different people from different backgrounds and cultures uh, within media and there's just going to be so many fantastic opportunities uh, to, to to kind of, as I say, get to know, get involved, learn as well obviously, P- different people are going to come from different backgrounds, video, broadcasting, everything and obviously I've heard uh, about some fantastic uh, developments within like uh, Francis Labo Media as well which I'm really looking forward to speaking to them and, and learning from them really so that's going to be 
great and obviously we've all got different backgrounds I myself uh, want to you know we might we might have heard we might have the opportunity to uh, do some workshops and things and I'd be very interested in doing some writing stuff and, and working in that environment as well as learning from um, obviously other members of chaos which I've, I've been doing while I've been part of the group and also other other groups about um, filming and media and, and, and in terms of um, the uh, web broadcast uh, I'm just looking forward to uh, to, to working to working on it and to kind of and, and, and seeing it seeing it come to fruition and seeing it finished it's going to be fantastic we've put a lot of work into it um, you know uh, all the new people that we've had in have, 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 have taken a real interest in and have got really excited about it and obviously you yourself have put you know a bunch of work into it and it's just going to be kind of a, a nice physical um, whereas whereas the videos that we've got up so far are obviously tribute to the hard work of, of select few people you know re re with concentration in film and editing, uh, this whole web broadcast is really going to bring to light the whole group's contribution everybody in the group has contributed in some way to this so it's going to be a very kind of it's going to be a nice sort of whole tribute to chaos and all members and, and different skills and uh, with, you know with all the different skills and backgrounds that we have and we've run out of time for this edition of kcast bye for now